Doppler effect. Meow. So hopefully you remember what a circular wave looks like. You have a source of the wave, and so your wave front is expanding in a circle from that source. But that's all well and good until what happens if there's movement? So here you have a source of the wave moving from left to right, and if you could freeze it in time, you would see that each of those expanding circles is expanding at the same rate, but they look really squished together on the right and really spread out on the left. So there's a name for this. All right, so it's the Doppler effect and there must be motion. It has to be relative motion. It doesn't matter if the source is moving or if the observer is moving. So here's a picture of what this looks like. All right, so here's just some source moving from left to right, just like we saw before, except now it's frozen in time. Okay, and so you can see that on the left, the same number of waves, right? There's the same number of circles the whole way around. On the left, they're filling a larger distance, and on the right, they're compressed together. So as you guys saw in the lab, what that means is what you observe is a long wavelength behind the motion or low frequency and a small wavelength and a high frequency as the source is moving towards you. Now, this would actually work the other way around too. If the source is stationary and you move towards it, then you would get a higher frequency. This is all about the relative motion, not necessarily the particular motion of either object. So let's compare the different types of relative motion. If the two objects are moving closer together, then the observer will have more wave fronts in the same space between them and the source. And so you will have what appears to be a shorter wavelength, which gives you a higher frequency and therefore a higher pitch. If the two objects are moving away from each other, there'll be fewer wave fronts in the same space. You'll have an apparent longer wavelength, which leads to a lower frequency and a lower pitch.